Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Don's Hot Rod Garage. Big Don with you. I figured I'd show you guys something different. Uh, something that I actually do six days a week when I'm at work. You know, normally I'm hauling the dumpsters around, but I also run a bobcat from time to time, top load them, try to get the most money for our uh, dump fees because... We're all living in the same world and the prices are through the roof, so if they go down to the landfill, when they leave our yard, I like to call them muffins. You ever watched somebody bake muffins in the oven where it, it starts off flat and then it kind of goes up over the top, kind of gives a nice little round top to them? Muffin. Muffin tops. So, uh, let me see if I can set the camera up, and uh, I'll run the bobcat for a little while. Alright, that's a good spot right there. Give me a second to, uh, daggone wind, you can't do much you can do about the wind. If I could sit you down in that little nook and cranny, it might be a little bit better. Now our our bobcat is old. It's a uh, 2005. I remember rolling it off the trailer when it was brand new.
Well, still filming. If anybody's familiar with a bobcat, and this is just a demo, but if you're familiar with a bobcat, you know, if you watch me operate at the bucket, how it hangs down, look at this. See the cylinder right here? This cylinder's totally gone. We just chain it so the bucket only goes so far down. So this is a day in the life of day day in the life of uh let me back up some show all my wrinkles. Day in the life of uh what Big Don does, you know. The cars are always the last part of the equation for me. This is what you know keeps everything moving and, and honestly this is all I know. I started doing this when I was twenty one years old and get ready to turn forty five, so made a lot of money at it. Let me show you this. Sorry for the wind, but look at the destruction. Look where it broke. It totally broke. Even on that side. You see how raised up this is. This should be sitting flush. See how it's kind of pitched down in there? This old hook's been, uh, been to war. Look how big it's opened up. I mean, you can see the distance from there to there, how much it's stretched open. And that's what it first starts hooking on the on the dumpsters. So we got the new arm and the new box coming. We're just waiting on it. And I've heard it's a, it's a bear to get them out. This hook's from 2000, so you can only imagine that pin goes through here all the way across to the other side. So you can only imagine how rusted out. That's it, that is in there. But once we get that hook in there, it'll be like a brand new one. But just for an example, you look at how big that hook is. And look at that hook. Small. That one's been worked to death. I bet you that hook's pulled up easily 30,000 dumpsters in his day. So, anyways, I figured I'd show you. Try to diversify a little bit. I show you something other than trifies. I was talking to a buddy of mine today on the phone. I've known this dude since the sixth grade, and I told him, you know, told him how I was just, you know, I've been best with trifies for so, so long. I just, I still love them, but I think it's time for something like a uh, big block four speed, twelve bolt disc brakes, tack dash, bucket seat, center console. I mean, I still have all my trifies, obviously, but muscle car time one last thing I know the winds probably killing the video right now you know once we start going into winter we get we get winds that just cut cut you in half but let me show you one last thing on these uh, 55 nomad and a 55 two-door sedan that I just noticed while I was looking at them today look at how look at how low the roof is on this car the nomad has it actually has a uh, more of a hardtop style roof. And just, if I can zoom in, just look at the distance from the top of the door to the roof. See on a sedan, the roof is, if I back up, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Nomad almost looks like it's got a factory chop top. And, and the sedan's got a pretty tall roof on it. A lot of people like that it gives them more headroom so anyways there was a work video I wish they could all be work videos at home but like I said I've done this for so long this is all I know and uh, a lot of people say that you know I'm a lucky person and I do feel lucky and I do feel blessed but for me it starts with hard work the only thing I've ever been given is a hard time so, hope you guys enjoy the video. Catch you guys on the next one.